I am so glad that we are finally able to talk about the new Chromebook Plus features the Chrome OS team introduced at the very cool event they held in New York City recently. We've known about many of these features and the new hardware that's going to showcase it for a little while at this point. So I'm really excited to be able to share everything Google announced at the event with you all today. I do want to mention a quick caveat about this particular video. We also have a hardware focus video that quickly showcases each of the new Chromebook Plus models that debuted at the event. Now, both of these initial videos are simply meant to introduce you to all the new software and hardware arriving today and some other goodies that Google has planned for the coming weeks for Chromebooks. And we're going to dive into many of these new features and new hardware obviously in a bunch of different videos uh, down the road. So be sure to get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on all of those other videos too. And speaking of subscribing, we also want to point you to our new upgraded Chrome Unbox Plus community. We're growing by the day. And if you're a fan of Chrome OS and Chromebooks, it is the place to chat about all things Chromebook with a group of like-minded, equally Chrome OS obsessed folks that have a great time together in a positive and uplifting community. Joining is really simple, and for just two bucks a month, you get access to the community I just talked about, an ad-free experience at chromeunbox.com, and the ability to get in on exclusive giveaways, content, and even AMAs with the Chrome OS team. You can check it out and learn more over at chromeunbox.com forward slash join. Now, on to the new stuff. There were tons of software announcements made, some that we've heard about before, and some that were brand new. So. Let's quickly chat about each one of them. As everything else does these days, the new Chrome OS features start with AI. Many of the features were teased back at the October Chromebook Plus event, but this time around, I promise, they're all arriving today on Chromebook Plus devices. And the first is Help Me Write. As we've seen on the Chrome browser for a bit leading up to this event, the idea of Help Me Write is simple enough. Bring a little bit of AI right where you need it across the OS. Wherever you are on your Chromebook, you can summon Google's Help Me Write to get inspiration or reword a post, an email, a note, or just about any block of text that you can think of. And then next up is the new AI-powered wallpapers and video backgrounds. Again, these are all OS-level features that work across the board. For wallpapers, this means that users can get a guided prompt to create unique, one-of-a-kind backgrounds for their devices. And for the video backgrounds, it means that you can create interesting backdrops that are delivered at the device level and work on any video chat service you choose to use, whether that's Google Meet or Zoom or WhatsApp, whatever, your unique AI created video background works wherever you chat. It's a pretty cool trick. Google also debuted the new magic editor for Google Photos on Chromebook Plus. Simply open a photo that you want to edit in Google Photos, hit the magic editor button, and you can circle objects to reposition or resize them, improve the lighting, change the background, change the sky even uh, for all of your Google Photos collection. The last big AI announcement is the inclusion of Gemini right on your shelf, starting with Chrome OS 125. Similar to what you get at the website for Gemini Chat, you'll now have a dedicated PWA version pinned right to the shelf for quick queries about anything you can think to ask. From image generation to document creation to coding help, Gemini is at your fingertips on your Chromebook moving forward. And that brings me to probably one of the biggest announcements made at this event. Gemini Advanced for Chromebook Plus users for free for a full year. Normally $19.99 a month, the Google One AI Premium Plan is included for new Chromebook Plus users for 12 months for free. And it includes Gemini Advanced, two terabytes of drive storage, and Gemini for Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Gmail too. The Chrome OS team was clear on one thing at this event. AI at a device level should be for everyone, and you shouldn't have to pay north of $1,000 to get it. Was that a clear dig at the new AI PCs and announced by Microsoft the week prior? Sure it was, but the message rings clear. With new Chromebook Plus devices starting at 349, Google is serious about getting devices in people's hands that leverage AI throughout the OS at prices that don't really hurt you too much at the register. But before we wrap up, there were a few other fun features Google announced as well. Google Tasks is coming to the Quick Settings calendar area for easier task management. GIF Recording is coming to the already excellent Chrome OS screen capture tool. And a new game dashboard is also launching to make gaming possible on non-touch Chromebooks with button maps while also giving users the ability to record gaming sessions and share those recordings very, very easily. And finally, Google shared a few features that are in the coming soon phase, including a new Help Me Read feature with Gemini. Like Help Me Write, Help Me Read will quickly summarize a bunch of text on the page and help you easily grasp and understand loads of content really fast. There's also a new feature on the way to help you pick up where you left off on your Chromebook. 
a new screen will now surface when you open your Chromebook up that will show you what you had opened previously, be it a bunch of Chrome tabs, windows, or apps. They didn't really delve too deep into this feature, but if it's like other productivity options for Chromebooks, think like virtual desks, when it launches, it's gonna be incredibly helpful to your workflow. And the final feature that we got to see is one of the most impressive, allowing users with low mobility to still use a Chromebook using just their face. That's right, I was able to toy around with controlling a Chromebook with just head movements and gestures on my face, like winks and eyebrow raises and like opening my mouth. It's seriously wild to experience and pretty crazy that we'll have it as a Chrome OS feature across the board for all Chromebooks later this year. Now, this is a lot, I know. That's why we wanted to kind of cover all of this on the surface and dive deeper into many of these new features in the coming weeks. There's just so much to talk about, but one of the best parts of the presentation was the fact that Google is really sticking to their guns about keeping AI powered computing in a reasonable price range. The new hardware reflects this and the new features introduced don't feel like AI just for AI's sake. Instead, it feels like the Chrome OS team is really clearly aligned in introducing new features that are actually beneficial to end users. And that's the Chrome OS that we like to get excited for. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to click the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.